Well, good evening, my fellow SAT students. Uh, what I want to talk to you about this evening is how to perform a down payment in SAT FICO. Uh, performing a down payment in SAT FICO is a three-step process. The first step is accomplished in the SAT Easy Access menu, and that is done by the end user. And basically what the end user does is creates two general ledger accounts. One general ledger account is for down payment request, which is an asset, and the second general ledger account is for down payment receipt, which is a liability. Both general ledger accounts are special general ledgers, a reconciliation with the customer, so it's called an alternate reconciliation general ledger. The second step in the process is done in the SAP IMG screen, and that's done by the consultant. And so basically what happens is they have to create a special general ledger indicator for special general letter tr ledger transaction. Okay, the code DF means down payment request. DA and DT are both the same, and they both mean down payment receipt. Then the second thing you have to do is map special general ledger it indicator with special general lecture. And that code is DF, it means down payment request general ledger. You have to uh, assign um, the accounts receivable, which is a uh, account, and then you have to assign an alternate reconciliation account. And that would have been the one of the general ledger accounts that you had made. And then again, and you have to, and that would be for down payment received general ledger. And then the second, then you can also, in addition to that, uh, you can do the same thing. Uh, you take your account receivable general main general ledger, and then you assign that to another alternate general ledger uh, using a different code. Because you, as we said in before, DF is for a down payment request, DA is for a down payment received, and DT is also for down payment received. Now, after you have created your general ledger accounts and mapped your general ledger accounts, then what you would need to do is you would need to test it, and that is done in the SAP Easy Access screen. So basically, uh. The first thing you would do is create a down payment request. The second thing you would do is you would receive the down payment according to the request. The third thing you would do is you would create an invoice to the client and observe the commitment warning. And the fourth thing you do would be to clear off the down payment or invoice. So that's the process of uh, preparing a down payment in SAP FICO, and that is one of the business transactions that you would need to know how to do if you're going to be an SAP FICO consultant. So I hope you've got something of use out of this presentation, and have a good evening.